Hi guys, I'm back again. Now, if you're super keen and you want to develop your painting, you've got time, into sort of 3D, because obviously that's two-dimensional. If you want to take it into 3D, I've got a little idea here, because we found that with all the Amazon stuff coming in and the shopping, the boxes and everything, the packaging, I found some really thin single-ply cardboard. It's very, very thin. It's one layer. This wouldn't work if it was two layers, okay? And I'm going to show you how to join, join them together using the slotting technique. So first of all, I'm going to do a cut just to show you. Here's a cut. Now you go no more than halfway. Right, here's my piece of cardboard that I've cut. Now I'm going to cut a little slot out. That slot, have a guess how thick, how, sorry, how wide that slot is. That slot is the thickness of the cardboard okay if it's too thick it's going to wobble around so here we go so i've cut one i'm going to go for another one remember don't cut past halfway and about the thickness of the cardboard like that and then you just pluck it out like plucking feathers oh i shouldn't say that right so there we go now the next step is just to show you these these slots will actually slot together quite firmly and quite strong Look at that, here's another one. I'm going to slot those two together. So there's a slot on that one, a slot on that one, and I'm going to join the two together like that. Slot. Okay, there we go, down to ground. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly now. And I'm just sort of starting off with a bit of a base. I could have gone round in a circle. That one, the rules have changed slightly. I didn't cut a slot on that one, and hence it's gone up in the air a little bit. So it doesn't matter. Who cares? We're just playing. We're just having a bit of fun. So here we go. I'm going to pick another one. I'm going to slot this on. Now the beauty about cardboard, it is actually quite versatile. And that's not the one I want. I'm going to use that one. That looks a little bit longer. That's good. Yeah, there we go. And look, all of a sudden, I'm starting to build it up. Now which slots have I cut? Ooh, hang on. No, no. No, let's just stick that one on there. I can make some changes later. There we go. Trying to think where I put the slots on. There we go. There's two slots. There. That's that, that's fitting on that. Here we go. Keep going. Uh, that one will slot on there, and that will then link to that one. Look, so I'm actually starting to build a kind of sculpture. And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness me, how is he going to make a how is he going to make a portrait out of that? Well, I don't really, I don't rightly really know. I could spend another ten minutes on it. I reckon I could get there. So I want you to have a little practice at doing the slot technique. I've just invented it, the slot technique. And see if you can start to make something. I think I've got these in the wrong order. I knew I should have numbered them. Never mind. But look, I'm starting to build something. And I can carry on cutting more slots, adding them, building it up. Then what I could do is I could take my pen and I think, oh, I don't like the shape of that. So I'm going to curve that. I'll put a curve on there, right? I want to get rid of that bit. Ooh, that's DT. Look at that. Get rid of that bit. There's a curve. I want to get rid of that bit. Like that. Then you come along, you take the slot off, and you simply cut that bit out. Okay, again, I'm just playing. I'm just having fun. I'm doing it really quickly. And hence, the shape is starting to change. Okay, so there he is. He's on there. How cool is that? Look, somebody's just got a, a new horn for their birthday. You can hear it on that car, look. Yeah, he's got a new horn. So there you go. So all I want you to do, oh, you might decide, well, actually, I'll just trim it. I'll just, I don't need to mark it out. I'll just go for it. I'm just going to trim. Okay, so look at that. You've just got to experiment. You've got to play with it. Now, once you've done that, you can, if you wanted to, you could add PVA glue. If you've got PVA glue, I must admit I haven't got any. If you've, if you've, if your mum or your dad's got a glue gun, you could glue gun these joins together, then they'd be super solid. And then I want to see who can start to make a head using this structure. You may say, well, I didn't manage a head. I mean, if you look at the work of Norm Garbo, he's actually going to be my inspiration. Now, I did one a little bit earlier, inspired by Nam, but I actually did the paint. I decided then to paint the cardboard. So I've used my nice cheap paints, my water-based tempera paints, and painted directly onto the cardboard. 
and this is what I've ended up with. I haven't finished it, but look, I'm just, I'm just having fun. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just cardboard. And you guys, you guys should know by now, because we've probably done enough of this, is that you can score cardboard. So all you do is take your scissors, and you should really use safety scissors, but if, if you're unsure, just keep, them, keep the blade together and just make some furrows, <laughs> furrowed deals. There you go, look at that. And that actually will, will start to help you bend the cardboard. So all of a sudden, it's got a curve to it. So you can start doing some curved shapes, okay? So for instance, the base of this one is a curve. And then I've got a slot in the in the top of that one and a slot in the bottom of the other one and just brought the two together to make a, uh, a cylindrical shape, a cylinder shape rather. So something to build on. And then once you sort of slot it all together, then you can start painting it. Now I've actually done another one, but I've cheated and I'm actually looking for it here. And it's unfortunately been damaged because it's been sat on it. But never mind. Here's, here it is here, and I've actually, I'm kind of working on this, I was naughty, I didn't use the slot technique, and I think the slot technique is better. If I had a glue gun, that would be even more better. So this is something I'm working on, having looked at the work of Norm Garbo and Richard Hamilton, I'm actually combining the two together. You may decide to come along and say, well I don't really like them, I prefer Giuseppe Archambault, I love the flowers. Or I like the machine, I like Eduardo, Eduardo Pelosi's machines, his blocks, his mechanisms. I like, I like that. So maybe you could do something along those lines. Haven't said an awful lot about Matisse, but Matisse and Van Gogh, their paintings were very similar and they will have, they lived around the same time and they would have influenced each other. They would have been looking at each other's work. Um, so there you have it. So guys, you've got a week to experiment and to explore material, explore paints. If, you have, if you've got any collage, any old magazines, you could work on the Richard Hamilton. You could start with a head from a magazine. If the magazine is like plastic coated or it's got a glossy coat to it, it'll be very difficult to put paint on it unless you use acrylic paint. So, that one to me looks like it's a newspaper cutting and if you've got a newspaper cutting you can then apply watercolour paints like the, the, the cheap tempera paints or these watercolour paints will work brilliantly on newspaper they're water based okay the acrylics well I've got some acrylics here they are plastic based so they stick well to cardboard but they stick particularly well to anything that is plastic Guys, I just want you to have a lot of fun creating. I hope to see your work throughout this week if you send it to me. Hopefully I'll be able to find it with my iPad skills. So, for now, I'd like to say tatty bye. And I would also like to show you my birthday present. Here he is. My little buddy. He's right there. And him and I have been working very closely today um, and hopefully uh, during this week, during the course of this week, I will see evidence of your work. So if you could take photographs of it, send it in, that would be fantastic. And remember, keep hold of the really good work because we're going to have an exhibition post-Covid. And remember, if you want to be Banksy, you can. Or if you want to be Vincent, you can be whoever you want. And remember, there's no mistakes in art. There's only happy accidents.